This afternoon, the Earth will reach its farthest point from the sun. It's called aphelion. One of NASA's ambassadors joined Fox Weather last night and talked about how Earth's distance from the sun, it does affect our weather. So we're going to be at aphelion, which is the furthest point in our not so circular orbit around the sun. And that takes us, you know, pretty far away. And that, you know, doesn't make a whole lot of sense in July, but actually that's not where those hot temperatures come from. Uh, our seasons come from the axial tilt of the earth, and you've also got to consider that there's so much more landmass in the northern hemisphere, and that landmass heats up really really easy compared to the ocean. So that's why our temperatures are a little bit warmer this time of year. So Tony Rice shared it all. He explained it. But the Aphelion Day, which is today, and technically Earth will reach its farthest point later this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And behind us, we give you a perspective. There are two Earths, but we only live on the one. <laughs> and it's its orbit. As Tony had mentioned, right. the not-so-circular orbit. It's an elliptical, and that distance does matter when we look at it from, from space. It certainly does. And with the elliptical in play, it kind of spreads a little bit further out as it makes its loop. As we get into the summer months, in fact, Earth is at its farthest point from the sun, it about is. 94 million miles. But you would think, you know, intuition, the farther away you are from something that's burning hot, yeah. the cooler it would be. And, and, and there is some... There is some significance to that, but we're talking about 7%. Right. When we're talking about the farthest point from Earth compared to when it's the closest, we are about 7% warmer. And Tony had mentioned land mass does play a role. It heats up a lot faster. So overall, we are hotter during the summer. But when we talk seasons, it's not so much about our distance. 94 and a half million, 91.4 million miles that the perihelion actually occurred on my birthday. It's January 4th. But here's the deal. Things heat up because of this, Jane, and this is where weather plays the big role. Yeah, the tilt to the Earth, 23 and a half degrees, and as it makes its loop into the aphelion phase, that's when we have the Earth's tilt toward the sun, and so we have those sun rays that are kind of burning onto the northern hemisphere, which is what's responsible for bringing us these hotter months. I, I think it's important, too, because the aphelion and the perihelion, perhaps these words are a little complicated to use, the aphelion and it's Kepler's second law when we look physically at things, it moves a little slower. So mm -hmm. our summer in the northern hemisphere, when we're farthest away from our closest star, it's about three days longer, our summer season. Now that makes sense because the farther you are away from a body of object that's exerting some gravity and we're feeling the, the pull, we slow down just a bit and then we speed up as we get a little closer. It's fascinating and I guess happy Aphelion Day to happy you. Happy Aphelion Day to you. <laughs> For those of you who celebrate, I mean, after all, it's science. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.